and welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Manchester United versus Southampton. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully, we're not disappointed. The lineup for Manchester United. Davi De Gea stands between the posts. Casemiro plays alongside Fred in the centre of midfield. And up front today is Anthony Martial. The first half underway here at Old Trafford. Fred did well to win the ball back might be able to get in behind the defence fantastic work to thwart the danger Bruno Fernandes well, there's been a boatload of speculation surrounding him ahead of the game. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. Trying to pick out a teammate. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Action underway once more. Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game. Oh, super piece of play. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top class finish. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1 1 here. for the players in the middle to work with so a corner here and over it comes well not quite the header he had in mind and the goalkeeper gobbling that one up Anthony can they hit on the break to take the lead what a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Given away by Manchester United. He's in with a chance. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. And taking it away. Very quick thinking there. Rashford. Options in the middle. Well, not hard to read that pass. Now can they counter clinically? 
Oh, good vision. Anthony deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, very effective play in possession. And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. Well, opting for the short corner. Can he find the net? Good looking move, this. Bruno Fernandes. And the keeper throws himself up the ball. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Going short. Shot attempted. Just made sure nothing came of that. Aribo. Really good interception. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. Oh, could be. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Delivering it. They've got it now. What can they do? Cross could be useful. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Casemiro. Fred with it. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Opportunity. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Well, he had to read it and get there, and did. And so the first half story has been written. Half to... So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. Right, I'm just hearing in my ear there's been a goal at Villa Park. That means we send it over to Alex Scott. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Now, for understandable reasons in this case, we had to cut off Alex. To confirm, Villa have scored in that match, but still work ahead of them, down 2-1. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Less than tidy on the ball, Martial. Diallo, Aribo, takes the shot, well, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration, a chance now with the corner, oh super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task, and he's fired over the corner, 
and clearing it away. Armstrong. He takes aim. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, the stats back up what we've seen so far. Some good attacking football, chances for both teams, and plenty to enjoy. Let's hope for more of the same. Well, possibilities inside the box. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, lovely ball. And nobody there to pick him up in the centre. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And into the last 30 minutes now. And given away. Happy to take on the shot. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. OK, quickly over to Alex Scott. A goal at Villa Park, Alex. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It was a nice one-two and then a composed finish as he rounded the goalkeeper. They're back in this now with 63 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. And a goal kick is the outcome. And time for the change now. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, breezing past him. Might take the lead. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Questions asked of Southampton. Now it's all about their answers. Mislav Orsic. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Southampton taking on Newcastle United. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not messing around with that clearance. And after the cross, a tremendous block. Well, possibilities in the centre. Unable to make the mark with that cross. Now that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. Goal news to bring you from the Aston Villa game, and Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Villa. It was a breathtaking finish. A shot from such a long way out. I think it totally surprised the goalkeeper. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 76 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. Rashford. Rashford! And that's a high-quality stop. Well, it may not count for anything, but that was a great save, wasn't it? They will now make use of their substitutes bench. But he's gone short with it. Could be! Well, relying on their goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps them in it. Well, the short corner routine. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. It's a decent delivery into the box. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Onuachu. Oh, good looking run. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. 
Five minutes left. Rashford. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Can he open the door to a potential goal? In it goes to rubber stamp it once and for all. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? given the ball away the electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes Martial Martial useful looking attack this but they dealt with the threat posed And the referee blows for full time. Positives for Manchester United. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, as I keep saying, if you make forward runs and you look to pass the ball forward and have players who can dribble past defenders, you're always going to carry a threat. And that's what they're doing at the moment. Their forward play was scintillating. 